Picture this. You're brimming with knowledge and passion, ready to share it with the world. But when the time comes to turn it into a course, you find yourself staring at a blank screen. Overwhelmed. You've come to the right place. In case you're tuning into my channel for the first time, hi there. I'm Marisa Murgatroyd. I've coached and supported tens of thousands of entrepreneurs, from side hustlers to seven-figure empires, on how to grow their online businesses. And I'm widely considered one of the top online course experts in the world. In this video, we're gonna focus on the key trends and opportunities in the online course world. No fluff, no overwhelm, just the stuff that really matters and will get you sales and results. Ready to dive in? Let's go. For your course to stand out and sell, you need to reverse engineer a clear path to your students' goals and then create a sense of adventure. So you give people what they need and also what they dream of with your courses. This way, you're not just an option for your students, you become a part of their everyday essentials, fueling their success and their passions. And when your course becomes a must have rather than just a nice to have, your business will thrive. You know how magazines used to have fun little quizzes that made the magazine experience interactive? Well, we can do that with our courses too. Instead of just lectures, include interactive case studies where students can make decisions and see real time outcomes. Use quizzes that adapt based on their answers and create branching scenarios where every choice leads to a different path in the course. Remember those super fun and engaging choose your own adventure books where you got to act as the protagonist and make choices that determine the plot. It's kind of like that. You want to make learning so exciting that your students can't wait to log in every day. Just like you couldn't wait to dive into that next adventure as a kid. You can do this by crafting relevant assignments that allow them to practice what they're learning in a real life context. For instance, if you're teaching a course on entrepreneurship, have students create their one year business plan and pitch them to you or their peers to get real world, real time feedback. Or in a photography course, challenge them to a weekly photo assignment based on specific themes or techniques. No matter what you teach from marketing to horse training to corporate taxes, it's critical that you keep your students engaged from the very moment they hit that enroll button all the way to crossing the finish line in your course, getting them the transformation you promised. Because when they get the transformation you promised, they'll keep coming back to you again and again and refer their friends too. Now let's talk about something close to my heart, community. I always say your course is a community. Why? Because the power of community is immense when it comes to learning. It's not just about the content, it's about connection, growth, and support. When students feel isolated, it's easier for them to lose motivation and direction. But in a community, they're part of something bigger. They see others making progress, overcoming similar challenges, and that's incredibly motivated because they think, I want that too. Your community is all about creating a space where everyone feels they belong and can share their journey, all while learning from each other. And it starts with engagement. But how do you maintain engagement in your community throughout the entirety of your course? Well, let me tell you, it's no small task. It's kind of like a party. Most people don't show up until they're invited. And if they did, that'd be scary. Online communities actually mirror the in-person environment. Most people don't feel comfortable engaging until they're invited. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you want to set the tone and create a welcoming and inclusive environment. Encourage students to introduce themselves, share their goals and what excites them about the course. We have an introductory post in our private experience product masterclass Facebook group, and you can see that right here. This one post got over 1100 comments, people sharing and getting to know one another. Let me read what it says. Welcome to your EPM Facebook group. We're so excited to have you here. Your mission is to design, launch and profit from an experienced product in 12 weeks or less. So you can get off the marketing treadmill, make more sales and have a bigger impact guaranteed. First things first, we want to get to know you. Please take a moment and comment below your name and location, what excites you the most about joining the Experience Product Masterclass, and a fun fact about you. I'll start. I'm Marisa and I'm the founder of Live Your Message. I live in Austin, Texas with my husband and business partner, Murray. We also love to travel the world together. 
We've supported thousands of students to find and live their message in just about every niche known to man. Our goal is to help 1 million entrepreneurs take their business out of what we call the blue sky phase and into the real world where they can make a real difference. We can't wait to get to know you and begin this epic journey together. P.S. I love monkeys. Now it's your turn. You'll notice that I shared first. This is a great way to get the ball rolling and encourage sharing while starting to build that more personal relationship with your students. But don't stop with this one post. You gotta keep the positive vibes and the momentum going. So schedule regular check-ins, maybe weekly or bi-weekly, where students can share their progress in challenges. This not only keeps them accountable, but also allows for collective problem solving and support. And one way we do this is through dedicated weekly posts and hashtags. So in our EPM community, we have six hashtags we specifically created for the program. Now these hashtags are mainly centered around mindset, like hashtag progress over perfection and hashtag breakdown before breakthrough. We create dedicated posts using these hashtags and encourage students to share so they get the feedback, encouragement, and support they need to overcome stuck points and keep moving forward. Each of our coaches also has their own unique hashtags for their pods, and pods are our student groups within the larger community. After coaching calls, students are encouraged to share their biggest takeaways and add their pods hashtag. Now this not only encourages reflection and sharing, but it also builds a deeper sense of community and connection within each pod. Plus, these hashtags are searchable, so our coaches can easily and quickly find their hashtags and engage with students right there in the community. So think of the community aspect of your course as the engagement glue that holds everything together. So make it a key focus when creating your course. Now, let's turn our attention to one of the most crucial aspects of online courses today, personalization. And personalization is all about making each student feel like the course was made just for them. Before your course even begins, get to know your students. Use a survey to discover more about them, their time constraints, their learning styles, their challenges, their needs, their goals. This isn't just a questionnaire. It's the first step in tailoring their learning journey. And if you've got a live coaching aspect to your course, this is a great way to help you assign students to certain coaches. So let's say you have a coach based in the UK and you've got a handful of students in the same time zone. It might make sense to assign those students to that coach. Now, if you're a solopreneur, you might think you don't have the capacity to implement a live coaching element, but I recommend it if you can just once a week. People are really craving more support. To get started, simply create a poll with several time options and let your students vote on the best time. You can even have them rank the times, and this gives your students a voice. Even if their first choice wasn't the winner, they still feel heard and valued. Coaching calls are often where the magic happens. Here, students can get specific feedback and support tailored to their unique situation. It's a chance for them to ask questions, delve deeper into topics, and get the personalized guidance they need. Now, you might not be at the point where you have coaches, but I do recommend that you implement some type of coaching session in your program. It could be weekly, twice a month, or even just once a month. This is a great way to address your students' most burning questions and their biggest sticking points. Because in our increasingly disconnected world, it's a great way to build that connection and long-lasting relationships. A relationship that could take them from this course to your next course or a longer group coaching program or mastermind and onwards and upwards, turning them into your customers for life. And customers for life are something that you're going to want a lot of. Here's the thing. No journey is ever a straight line. There are so many ups and downs, which are why surveys, community, and coaching calls are a great way to catch issues before it's too late. For instance, through your outreach efforts, you might find that a student's original intention isn't working. And if they continue on down this path, it's just going to lead to nothing more than headaches and heartaches. But because you're able to catch any issues, you're there to help them pivot just in time. You can be adaptable and responsive to their needs because you know their course journey isn't set in stone. It's this living, breathing adventure that adapts as they learn, discover, grow, and implement. Which brings us to micro-learning. 
In a world where everyone's juggling a million things, the way we learn, it has to adapt. And that's where the beauty of microlearning comes in. Let me break down why bite size is the new big and how it's revolutionizing online learning. In EPM, we pace our trainings to prevent the dreaded information dump. Why? Because when too much information is thrown at students all at once, it leads to overwhelm and our brains can only process so much at a time. By breaking down complex topics into smaller, manageable chunks, we make learning more digestible and less daunting. Let's face it, attention spans aren't what they used to be. Microlearning caters to this reality. Shorter, more focused lessons fit perfectly into our busy lives. Students can learn during a coffee break, on their commute, or in between meetings. We have students who work full-time jobs while raising a family and are still successful in our programs because we've adapted to their reality, a reality that so many of your students also face. It's about fitting education into your life and not the other way around. Smaller lessons mean higher retention. When students aren't overwhelmed, they're more likely to absorb and remember what they've learned. Each bite-sized lesson is designed to deliver a single concept or skill, making it easier to understand and retain. Microlearning allows for the immediate application of knowledge. Learn something today and use it today. This instant applicability reinforces learning and gives students a sense of progress and achievement. Microlearning, it's not just a trend, it's a response to the world we live in. It respects our time, our capacity, and our need for flexibility. It's about making learning a joy, not a chore. Now let's dive in to the most overlooked aspect of creating a successful course, data-driven insights. All right, I get it, data, uh, right? But it's super important to use data to react and adapt in real time. You need to know what's working and what isn't. And the easiest way to do that is go directly to the source. Ask your students. Use surveys and feedback forms at different stages of your course. This gives you firsthand insights into what's working and what's not. You'll also want to look at your course analytics, which modules are most and least accessed. Where are students spending the most time? This tells you what's grabbing their attention and where they might be getting stuck. Analyzing results from quizzes and assignments can reveal a lot about comprehension and engagement levels. It helps you identify areas where students might need extra help or resources. Monitoring your community can be a quick way to flag an issue and address it. What are the common questions or themes? This is a gold mine for understanding student concerns and interests. If you do hold group coaching calls, you might notice that the same question keeps coming up over and over again. So you might need to return to the module that addresses this question and add any supplemental resources like templates or checklists and see if there's something missing or unclear. If you find that module is missing something, be open and honest and address it. Clarify during your next coaching session or maybe even do a Facebook Live to the group. So there you have it. How to create a successful and long lasting course that'll bring in sales for your business in today's crazy and overcrowded online world. Let's do a quick recap. To create a successful and long lasting course that stands out in the most crowded online marketplace ever and delivers real results for your audience, you need to focus on turning your course into an adventure, adding an engaging community element, personalizing your course so it evolves with your students, turning lessons into easily digestible chunks, and evolving with data-driven insights. Your journey to becoming a successful online course creator starts now. With these trends and opportunities, you're not just creating a course, you're creating a legacy. So let's turn that knowledge and passion into something phenomenal. You've got the vision, now let's make it a reality. And if you're fired up and ready to get started in your course creation journey right this minute, I've put together this playlist just for you. So drop me a comment, check out that playlist, and then go out there and live your message.